I'm Corporal Devin Cross from Georgetown, Ontario, an information and systems technician posted to Headquarters and Signal Squadron in Petawawa, Ontario. Information Systems Technician works with servers and networks. We're constantly working with technology, switches, routers, and all sorts of programs and applications. Information Systems Technicians work on IT equipment, network components, computer workstations and servers, as well as voice over IP phone and teleconference systems to ensure communications flow seamlessly on every ground mission in Canada or abroad. Without us, communications wouldn't be passed, and the infantry who are out there facing the enemy wouldn't be able to pass up their critical information to the officers that require it and the back lines. The officers wouldn't be able to do their job and they wouldn't be able to plan out what was gonna happen next in the battlefield. Information systems technicians have an important role in providing connectivity from the missions abroad to back home in Canada and to enable the full spectrum of IT services. From internet service providers to satellite terminals to tactical systems and armored vehicles to end users, Information Systems Technicians oversee all forms of communications and information systems in the Canadian Armed Forces. On a day-to-day -day basis, Information Systems Technicians oversee account creation, software configuration, servicing telephone and teleconference systems, and ensuring network security on bases across Canada. They work on all IT-related tasks, such as cable installations, network distribution, as well as performing network scans for IT security. They also provide IT support to end-user clients to troubleshoot and analyze software, databases, and IT network problems. There's always opportunities to take on more responsibilities and learn something new, to move up in the ranks or become a better information systems technician, to learn a new system and become a better soldier. The coolest part of my job is working with people every day, figuring out their issues and troubleshooting through them, taking the steps to make their job easier and their life better. I always like seeing a happy face with the people that I work with. Being able to solve their problems at the end of the day makes me the happiest because it makes their lives that much easier. After becoming trade qualified, information systems technicians are posted to a brigade, base or unit which can be anywhere across Canada. After you're finished all your training and you arrive at your first posting, you'll be learning every single day uh, with on-the-job training. There's going to be a lot of information that you need to learn and you'll be mentored through every step of the way. Reservists fulfill the same role in 23 different Army Reserve signal units across the country. Information systems technicians must be able to adapt to challenging situations to troubleshoot and diagnose IT and tactical communication systems for mission critical services. The ability to identify issues and resolve problems quickly is a highly desirable trait as are analytical thinking, attention to detail, creativity and persistence. The job's never stale. You're constantly being challenged and learning something different. You're learning a new system or working with new people. To maintain their highly adaptive skill set, information systems technicians can expect to travel often throughout the year, participating in exercises and training courses. Information systems technicians will train for high readiness with their brigade and can expect to be deployed overseas. Deployment is always a great experience. You're continuously interacting with different militaries, learning their job roles and responsibilities, and interacting with a different culture. Joining the military was one of the best decisions I made in my life. I'm able to work with new technology, new systems, and learn something new about my job every day. I work with different people, and I've made a lot of friendships along the way. Mm -hmm.